Good morning everybody, welcome back to another morning update. So let's go ahead and get started with the review. So like always we'll do a review on what happened yesterday. So yesterday we came in and we set our imbalance down here. We set a small shelf. Then we instantly pushed up on this level. Now it was a very attainable level, like I said. You always want to buy on the uh, retest. Well, I say retest, but the push down on the daily imbalance, and you, if it comes into another zone, for instance, this a order block, it gives you an extra com vote of confidence to buy there. After that, it pushed up. Then we go into New York, and we enter into a steep territory to push down. Then come in, and it does higher low, pushes up. When I'm asleep, like always. Seems like Asia seems to want to pump now. Fucking piss take. Uh, I shouldn't be. Yeah, it's possibility. I can swear. Cool. Pushes down. Gets low. Gets some trap volume here. Then pushes back up. And now we're at where we, the stage of the current price. So now, what do we want to see? Same thing. If you want to be bullish, uh, so we want to see it push down back into daily imbalance right here pin into this area here so we can highlight this twice as we can see this is your auto block then I get a big pretty liberal, liberal that's the key location uh, so there we go about 50% so you want to see this end up coming in and holding uh, and pushing up from there now choose Monday Tuesday you have carbon come and gone so we've set our weekly range so we set our weekly range so now we, now we know where to play with uh and now we know what we're playing with within the week uh so we're playing with anywhere from just bring this uh, a bit closer there we go so anywhere from 40 uh 4750 to 41750 quite a wide range uh to play with and we know anything that's slightly above the false break, anything slightly below the false break for uh, for both sides. So like we had previously, we marked those as potential uh, false breakouts into a potential stop on and then go, uh, go back into range. So with this range, we've given it up 50% at 43, uh, 250. So we mark that off as a potential level and we call it quits there. So now as you can see those are your levels you can mark those on your chart with the line or do the exact same thing grab the low from here to here and call it a day now coming in to uh sort of and, and zooming back uh, in to see what's happening right now i mean we already have open we have this level here where what we see just a slightly above the range so this is a dangerous place to be in so you want to see this if you want to be a bearish this would just drop in come into here we had two updates in uh both uh new york london but we came back uh down into a daily imbalance so we possibly have some leeway in terms of where to play with as you can see we ended up stopping near these uh near the fib levels you're possibly looking for it to push back down into a discounted market and come back all the way into these fib lines down here as a uh, best case scenario in terms of if we push down and we see something like this and we carry on the momentum to the downside on the flip side so let's go ahead and uh, draw both of these so we get something like this or we get something like this so we get a push into here, potential bounce, then push down. Let me can even say push down much further. Uh, we'll call it, yeah, we say we'll push down to here for now. And we see what level we go into from there on out. And that's pretty much the update for, and, and the expected uh, reaction that I want for Bitcoin currently. Uh... And if we end up pushing up, we'll end up pushing up into the highs and we'll go into sort of, uh, we'll go into sort of uh, the expected levels we're looking for. Like I said, 
go low there's your 50 percent line mark push up on here come back down like this so that is your best case scenario in terms of it follows all the notes it follows all the beats and it gives you uh, pretty much uh, both sides in terms of a chance to go in and out of the market if you're experienced uh so definitely definitely uh i'm gonna be monitoring this uh very closely and uh gonna give you guys the updates uh on the live stream when we get confirmation on midday on what new york uh what uh what direction new york wants to trade so until then i uh, hope you guys have a great day and i will see you uh then have a lovely day and goodbye